Trouble in the water around Hawaii. Hundreds, including military families, are suing the federal government over debilitating illnesses, hospitalizations, and even seizures that they had after the Navy admitted to contaminating the water supply around the island. It started in 2021 when two naval storage tanks leaked a massive 20,000 gallons of military jet fuel into the water. Attorney Christina Baer represents many of the victims, and mom Amanda Feint is raising awareness. They join us now. Christina, oftentimes we see the Navy or other DOD departments denying, not wanting to admit it. What is the Navy's stance on this right now? Do they admit at least that it happened and did contaminate the water? Okay, so they admit that it happened and that they contaminated the water. Okay. But they don't admit that they made anybody sick. They think that nobody is sick today because of the water source. Interesting. So they admit it happened, but they won't admit that jet fuel in the water that looks like that could have contributed to illness. Amanda, I imagine you have a different perspective. You, you are active duty, but you're speaking as a family member right now. You've lived on that base. What happened? Did it affect people's health? Absolutely, Pete. Um, we, have, we have all been affected in, in nearly every way possible. Um, you know, our medical health, certainly, um, emotional, uh, mentally, physically, uh, personally, financially, professionally. Um, and that continues from, from beginning until we speak today. If in your mind, too, Amanda, does the injury include the fact that just what Christina said, the military will admit that it happened, but they won't take responsibility for the water? Certainly. That's, that's definitely been a frustrating part for us is, is being believed and being treated properly at Tripler, you know, medical facility and at, and at any of the medical facilities on base and and now even off base. We've got folks going off base now that are being denied medical care um, be, specifically because they're coming in about Red Hill. At Red Hill is what it's called. It's what it's known as. That's where oh, the yes. incident occurred. Um, what, real, let me stick with you one more time just as someone who experienced it firsthand. Um, could you taste it? How many days was it before you realized what was going on? Certainly. So I, I personally could not taste it. Um, the spill happened on the 20th. We were not notified about that. The Department of Health was notified it, about it. We were not notified until families over Thanksgiving weekend started to smell it, started to taste it, started to feel sick. Hmm. It didn't personally impact my family until around the 8th um, through the 10th of December. It took a while to get to us, but um, we weren't notified. Um, until families started get, getting sick. So you were never proactively notified, and we, just hearing you say those dates, I mean, it went on for weeks and weeks and weeks with no admission, no notification. Christina, what is the recourse here? Are we talking a class action lawsuit, partially the military included? So this is a mass action. We represent now over 700 people, mm. more every day, and they want two things. They want accountability and truth, right? They want to know that the government admits what happened, that they poisoned the water and they made people sick. And then two, they wanna make sure this never happens again. Yeah. You know, never again on American soil can we contaminate the water and then fail to tell people Absolutely. to stop drinking it. Just right? own up to it, it's just take universal. responsibility. But we see this across the board, I mean, from Afghanistan to elsewhere, refusing to acknowledge egregious errors committed in, in that everyone can see, yet no one ever seems to be held accountable and they don't, they don't admit it. Christina Baer, thank you for putting this together uh, and leading the charge. And Amanda, for your courage in speaking out.